Well, howdy there, folks. It's the Game Hoarder. Back with yet another LP before he's done with the other LPs. We're going to take a role-playing game break and bring to you Sam and Matt's Hit the Road, the talkie version, with me talking in, talking over the talkie version. Hopefully you won't find this too annoying. Let's begin. Friends? Friends? We've only gone out together three times, and already you're telling me you just want to be friends? You never gave me a chance, and for that, you'll fry like a pork sausage. Not that I don't like you, it's just that, well, you're too nice a guy, I guess. I think I'd rather go out with someone more of unpredictable. Hello. This doesn't look like the Lincoln Tunnel, Sam. Looks to me like a marginally volatile hostage situation, Max. Ooh, does this mean we get to kick some puffy white mad scientist butt? Can't think of a reason not to. You'll be of no use, freelance police. With the flip of a lever, my ungrateful lunch date will be reduced to a half cup of disoriented atomic mat. I knew he wasn't a real doctor. Uh, shall I confront, subdue, and pummel the suspected perpetrator, Sam? Sick him up, little buddy. Ooh! Ow! Hey, nice one. Yikes! Huh? He's not a real guy, Sam. Can I keep his head for a souvenir? Why do you suppose it's ticking? That's no head, Max. It's one damned ugly time bomb. Let's leave this criminal cesspool pronto. Good idea, Sam. Maybe we can ditch the head somewhere while the credits are running. You mind if I drive? Not if you don't mind me clawing at the dash and shrieking like a cheerleader. Sam, is pronto a real word? Goodbye, Sam and Max. I'll never forget all you've done here today. The Lucas Arts Entertainment Consortium in association with the 421 brings you Sam and Max Hit the Road. Designed by Sean Clark, Steve Purcell, and a bunch of other fuckers we don't give two shits about. was a pleasantly understated credit sequence. I enjoyed the cheesy retro ambiance. What the hell are you talking about, Max? Sam, either termites are burrowing through my skull, or one of us is ticking. Oops, oh yeah. Max, where should I put this so it doesn't hurt anyone we it's know guy's care head. about? Out the window, Sam. There's nothing but strangers out there. I 
hope there was nobody on that bus. Nobody we know, at least. Hello? Yes? 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 No? Really? Well, the same to you, Mac. Another confused census taker? Actually, it was the commissioner with another idiotic and baffling assignment. Does it involve wanton destruction? We can only hope. Due to the arbitrarily sensitive nature of the mission, we'll be meeting a bonded city courier out on the street. Ooh, smells like a fiercely thickening plot. Look, grab shit, talk to shit, squeeze shit, open your inventory and shit. Vertical silverware storage. Nice job. I can't use these things together. Oh, why not? I can't pick that up. I can't pick that up. I can't pick that up. Let's check the answer machine. This is no time for chit chat. This is no time for chit. I can't know really. I can't. I can't talk to that. Oh boy, we got a message. Gee, I hope it's something eerily provocative. Hey, you're the jerk who sideswiped me on the Queensboro Bridge. Don't think I didn't get a good look at your long fluffy ears. See you in court. We may have to go over there and terrify the righteous indignity out of that little fellow. Kick that dude's ass. Yummy looking sandwich. Me, me, me! Alrighty then, the termites or ants or whatever the hell they are just took that sandwich and fucked it up! Alright, we got a black light bulb. It's a black light. I can't talk to that. You can't talk to the black light? What's your problem? It's my little buddy, ready for action. How the fuck do I exit out of here? I played this game in 19 years. I'm filled with disgust and an odd sense of foreboding. And? You're looking hale and hearty, little buddy. I'm a coffee achiever, Sam. Well, that's all. No shit. Cash. Never leave home without it. Yeah, we may need it to bribe slippery government officials. You want a piece of me, huh? Well, take a piece of this. Brutal. But very true to life. And here's one for your old man. I really respect Flint's business acumen. Please, Sam, don't use the word acumen again. Gratuitous acts of senseless violence are my forte. You're such an adorable urchin, Max. Nice! I like hurting people for no apparent reason. Hey there, little fella. You talking to me? Holy shit, the cat is crazy. Maybe. Are you a cleverly disguised bonded city courier? Maybe. Are you the freelance police? Yes, but don't go blabbing it to everybody. I think he's kind of cute, Sam. Can I make a tennis racket out of him? Maybe later, Max. Right now, we've got a message from the commissioner to collect. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I swallowed your orders for safekeeping. But now I can't seem to hock them back up. Shit, I'll help you out with that. I just
just love to turn this guy inside out. Oh, that gives me an idea. According to these orders, something bizarre is happening at the carnival. I thought that was the whole point. Maybe we should check it out when we've got nothing better to do, like any time. All right. Well, let's head toward the carnival. We ain't got nothing better to do. 